you guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you that aren't a part of my Periscope fam family, most mornings I get up and I Periscope for about an hour, give take, usually give. And this is just kind of how I like to start my day. It's always very fun and exciting and it always gets me inspired and it just allows me to really connect with you guys in a way that I don't really get to through, you know, like the comment section of YouTube or my Instagram or whatever. So I always really enjoy my time spent with you guys there and I've been trying to think of ways to make my YouTube more like that so that, you know, I don't know, maybe I'll feel inclined to film. <laughs> So I just tried to think about the things that we do on Periscope and normally I just kind of jump on, we'll chat about whatever and uh, people will ask me questions and then we'll usually kind of dig around and try out new makeup. So I thought we could, uh, you know, do this for a video. So I'm gonna go jump on Periscope on my phone. I'm going to have it running while I film uh, and I'm gonna be trying out some new products and uh, we'll see how this goes. Just uh, logging on here. Here's what we're doing. I'm gonna talk to them for a second, be right back. I'm gonna film while we're on Periscope. The first thing that I wanted to try out, I don't know where to talk. I'm gonna talk right here, don't be offended. The first thing I wanna try out is my new NARS Matte Power Matte Lip Pigments. Um, I picked up some myself and then they ended up sending out the rest of them to me and I haven't gotten the chance to try them yet. Holy shit, there's a lot of colors here. What colors are you guys most into? Would you rather see more nudes? Dark, edgy for fall, perhaps? I think dark for fall, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do London Calling. I'm only gonna swatch a few of them because I don't want to swatch that many. Oh. This one I didn't order because it looked more purple on the website. But this is actually nice. This looked way purpler more purple. <clears throat> they apply really thin, like they're almost like water um, when they go on. They don't feel, and it actually makes them easier to apply than a normal liquid lipstick. I'm gonna let this set for a second to see how long it lasts. I'm sweating so much. It's so hot in the house, but whenever I'm on Periscope or filming, I can't open the windows because it's so fucking loud. Hmm, huh. that's pretty transfer proof I'd say. Let's go to the next color, shall we? Oh yeah, I wanted to try Paint It Black. So Paint It Black is described, I think, on Sephora as being black. But when I saw Temptalia's review, it looked almost like burgundy-ish. And that's why I wanted to get it. Oh, wow. Yeah, you guys will see what parts I cut out. It's a lot of me saying wow, like Owen Wilson. Oh, this one's harder to apply. I don't smack your lips together during, oh God. It's like it applies smoothly and then when you smack your lips together, it almost like takes off a layer. It's really weird. Ah, okay, now I'm nervous. Now I'm sweating even more. Oh God, I think I applied too much there. It's almost like applying like ink. Oh wow, this color is so nice. It's almost like an off black with a hint of purple. As dark as your soul, you spooky bitches. <laughs> I'm gonna tuck my hair behind my ears for more efficient swatching. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do one more of these, but overall I actually am liking this formula. This one's called Get It On. It's inappropriate. If you had to choose between Slow Ride or Rock With You, which would you choose? We're gonna try uh, Rock With You for the last one. Mmm. This is a fall delight. Oh shit. The only thing that I find really difficult with this is that because it's so liquidy, you end up applying way more than you need. But they have really pretty colors. Oh, that's so nice. Wow. I feel like Taylor Momsen. Um, I was going to, I should have just waited to fucking swatch these products. I got these two things in the mail. The Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand, Easy Contour Sculpture Facile, that's en français. And then the Beauty Light Wand, Easy Highlighter. And they both have the most horrendous packaging I've ever seen in my life. They're like a little cushion, and then you, you have to like twist it to turn it on 
and then you squeeze the product out but this one feels like there's literally nothing in it like I have to like squeeze it from the bottom like a fucking toothpaste tube and then it comes up so you're it's like you're you're trying to squeeze it out and hold it and squeeze it and then like put it on your face and then you end up putting way too much product on it. It's a fucking nightmare. You don't understand. But the colors look really pretty. Allow me to swatch for you. There you go. Um, it's actually a good color. Like, like look at that shit. That's a good color. It's not too... I don't know. It just literally looks like me with a tan. And it blends out really, really well. Like even on the hand, it blended out really super patchy. But how I applied it was just like dotting it on and then blending it out with a beauty blender. But this packaging is garbage. It's garbage. Compare it to Sunkissed, I shall. Here, let me apply like a good hearty swatch of this. There's a good hearty swatch of that. See, look how, like it looks like that'd be a patchy nightmare, does it not? Here, I can get actually close to the camera. Um. So there's Sunkissed, and then that's the Charlotte Tilbury one. You guys see those two? Um, the Charlotte Tilbury one is like a little bit more red toned, but it also has almost like an ashiness to it. It's really hard to explain. It has like this kind of weird ashiness to it. And then the uh, Sunkissed one definitely pulls a little bit more yellow. This one almost reminds me like of the exact color of like hot chocolate. So anyways, I was going to swatch it on camera. I should have, but I didn't. But here it is on my face. And then this is the highlighter, which I'm also wearing. Although this one feels more full, like it feels like I can actually squeeze it out better. It's just the weirdest thing to apply, like I really can't even describe it. But both are beautiful. You'll probably see them in like a favorites video at some point. That's the highlighter. Wow. Wow, that looks so nice on Periscope. Actually, it looks pretty dope on here too. That's beautiful. Wow. Still would recommend, even though it's Garbage packaging. Oh, you were wondering what that is, Jamie Page Beauty? Wait for my video. <laughs> Guess you'll have to wait and watch. Beauty guru extraordinaire. Bet you didn't see that one coming, did you? Wow, everyone quit telling her what it is. I look like Courtney Love when I take off lip swatches. You were about to say that I look like Courtney Love? That is such a dick move. <laughs> I can't believe that you thought it before I said it. Bite a moose bouche liquefied lip. Oh no, I got stuff on my pants. This is why I don't wear pants. I'm not used to it. So these are the bite liquefied lips. I'm trying to bring it back to earth because I have a, I have a very strong feeling. I'm going to go to edit this video and be like, oh, this is just me rambling, looking like I'm talking to myself and laughing at my own jokes. These feel very uh, sticky, especially in comparison to that like last NARS stuff. Like this feels like I'm putting like honey on my lips almost. I've been getting the worst headaches lately because I recently like redid my Botox and I forgot how bad of headaches I used to get because I'm trying to be like an angry bitch. But every time I go to like scrunch my face in extreme anger, I can't. And this results in like the most intense headache of my life. That's puree. They're actually pretty and they look super like, wow. They look really like moisturizing on. Like they don't seem to settle into lines or anything like that. And they don't look thick on. Like it actually looks like a nice thin layer. And it just like makes my lips look super moisturized. Look. Check it out. And it actually doesn't even feel shitty when I take it off. It feels kind of nice actually. Let's try Demi Glace. Oh, this looks a lot darker than I thought it would be. Actually, yeah. I just can't get over how like luscious it makes your lips look. Yeah, actually that's really nice. That's like a unique, that's a unique ass color. Siobhan. Mmm. What remover? Bioderma. Sebium H2O. Solution micellaire. Natoyant purifiante. I'm gonna try chutney. Mmm. Would you look at this? I can get on board with these. Anyways, this is Chutney. A++ would recommend. I love them. Yeah, but what a dumb PR box. Okay, so I'm gonna try the Giorgio Armani uh, lipsticks. These are, oh Christ. I literally feel like an eight year old woman right now. Ecstasy Shine. So first of all, wow. When I got this PR box, it came in this like a massive, heavy ass, like huge red box that opened up to a mirror inside that lit up and like all these like candies and like a fucking 
sticky notepad that is in the shape of a lips, pins and shit, like, and three lipsticks. So here's my question. Why not, like, love the box that I'm gonna throw out and shit, but why not just send me all the lipsticks? Because that's really all that I care about. It just kills me. It, exactly, it's so fucking extra. It kills me because I'm like, this thing is literally, you spend so much money, so much money on this like crazy PR packaging that doesn't even include like the product essentially. It was the weirdest thing ever. No, there wasn't lipsticks in the drawer. So the same thing happened to, okay, so at the bottom of this big ass box, there was like a little drawer that came out and there's supposed to be, supposed to be, it looked like lipsticks in the bottom because when you pulled it out, there was like slots that were like this shape. And it was funny because like when I pulled that box out, I was like, oh, it's so weird that they only put three lipsticks, but it looks like they're supposed to be like lip more lipsticks in the bottom. And then Crystal Clear Makeup was on her Instagram stories being like, it looks like they're supposed to be like lipsticks here. There wasn't. It was the same shit for me. Okay, number 300. Wow. I take it all back. The only thing I don't like is it smells like, uh, it smells like the lotion at my grandma's house. Pretty. Wow. Don't play the drinking game. They're saying they're gonna play a drinking game where they take a shot every single time I say wow. But you'll be hammered in minutes and I'll be offended in seconds. Uh, I'm gonna try color number 400 now. No, I don't like this. I hate it. I hate everything about this. This is a narrative I'd very much like to be excluded from. It's been a rocky relationship for me and these Giorgio Armani lipsticks. Okay, number 500. These definitely just feel like a lip balm, but this color to me is like that, like Barbie pink color from your childhood that you were like, oh, if only I was older, that's like the lipstick color I'd have. And then you get older and you realize that you were a fucking idiot when you were a kid. Someone just asked me to swatch the Ciate Glitter Flip lipsticks. Here's what happened. I opened the PR package from Ciate. I was like, oh, Glitter Flip. Okay, cool. I like pulled the lipstick out of the tube and I was like, that shit's glittery. I don't want to try that. I put it back just thinking that it was going to be like a lip gloss with glitter in it. And I was like, nah, I don't fuck with that. Put it back, put it into a bag brought it to my family reunion, spread it amongst my cousins, watched Chloe Morello's video on it, and I was like, fuck, those look pretty tight. Too fucking late now. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, I don't know why I do the things that I do. I know, I know. Oh, everyone's making me feel like a dick about it. I don't know, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. What, what, what do you want me to do, man? What do you want me to do? It's too late now. It's too fucking late now. At least Chloe Morello put a video up. So did Raw Beauty Christy. I don't have the Marc Jacobs palette yet, but it's en route to me. All the new palettes. If you guys want to see a tutorial, let me know. Toot on all of the palettes. Get bent. Lip swatch the collector's palette. I could do that. They asked for the plug. I didn't plan this. I was forced into it. Use my code SAM10. Check out my creator's palette with nude sticks, limited edition, available at Macy's, Ulta, and Sephora Canada. It's, I think it's available at all the Sephora's. Uh, but anyways, my color is Freckle. Uh, they're all in the magnetic matte formula. Oh shit, sorry, I got a phone call. Janelle. Hello. How's it going? freshly applied. Um, basically it's like a nice kind of muted brick red color. Not a nude on my skin tone. Uh, but it's super gorgeous on deeper skin tones too because it has that nice warmth in it. So anyways, there's my plug is 
over. It's done. Okay, you guys, hopefully this went well. Hopefully I can edit this into something at least slightly worth watching. Thanks for hanging out and chatting, you guys. Let me know what you'd like to see next in the comments below and I'll get back to you. Oh, sorry, sorry, yeah, 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 yeah. Peace out. <laughs>